Luke chapter 19, verse number 10, the mission statement of Jesus Christ. It is Luke 19 and verse 10, whereby the Bible says, For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. So this is the mission statement of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I say it, when Jesus came to execute his mission, there are three things that he gave parables on. And he explained his mission in three parables. If you get Luke chapter 15 from verse 3, Luke 15 from verse 3, he talked about his mission mentioning three items or three things in that chapter 15, Luke chapter 15. And this is what he said. And he gave an example of the lost sheep. This week, we are not looking for the lost sheep because lost sheep, we go for them at the crusade. We go for them at door to door. That is for the lost sheep. Those people who are meant to be for the kingdom, but they are not in the kingdom yet. And Jesus says in John 10, we must bring them also on board. So we have a mission as a church to go for the lost, especially the lost sheep. Then he gave an, another parable of the lost coin. And he said, that is Luke chapter 15 and verse 8. And he talked about a woman who had 10 pieces of silver. And it says that he loses one. And then all that was found was nine. And that mission of seeking the lost coin, it is as the way we are seated here. I, our, senior, uh, our senior lady there, uh, whom I was seated with, he has said something here, that we are about 300. But we can be 300 in number, we can be counted as 300, but not the 300 that are accountable. We can be counted, but not accountable. That is the lost coin. You are here, but not committed. You are here, but not available. You are here, but not willing. You are not here, but not on board. And then he gave another example of the lost son. And this, is, this was our mission this week for the lost son. What is the difference between the lost sheep, the lost coin, and the lost son? The lost sheep is far away. It has never tasted the kingdom. The lost coin is in the house. Unfortunately, it is not aware it is lost because it feels it is still in the house. Ni wewe huyoni lakini najua iko kwa nyumba. Na hivyo ndivyo wa Kristo wengi wako. In our Anglican church for the rest for the last 20 years I've been serving. We have so many lost coins in the house. No wonder kazi inakuaga gumu na inakuaga kazi kwa wachache. Maana wengi ni mashiriki ambao imepotea. But when we count our members they are there in the church. Am I harsh? So it is the truth. Now, let us focus on the lost son. Lost son, he is special in this way. He once belonged to the kingdom. He tasted the goodness of the kingdom. The Bible says that he asked his father his own inheritance. The problem was not asking for inheritance. The problem was going far away from the father. And this is the mistake that most of us make. Maybe some of us, we are here because we expect something from the Lord. But once it is met, you'll never see us. Nakubuka kereita achidikon are, there is a certain achidikon by then, I won't mention his name, but he was there in charge at that time. And he was challenging us to cure my youth over 20 years ago. Narikuwa natuabia, simkae kama furani. Furani ata kunyeshe, lazima akuje kesha furaidi. Furani ata kue nini, lazima akuje kesha. Hajawai koza kesha, ata kue peke yake. She's always, you know, uh, 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 watching and praying every Friday at this church, ata kue peke yake. Wacha kwajea huyo tulikuwa tunabiwa, aolewe. Wacha kesha, ata kanisa, haku kuja tena. Mana kire alikuwa natafuta, ni buwana. Some of us, we are very innocent here. Oh, come on, man. I got a ride. And you call who? Oh, God, I don't got a move. Some of us, we are here because we are Tama King. We want the blessings of God. Some of us, we are here because we are struggling. We want intervention of God. But once it is done, now you know, now that you stand up, to a certain school, either test, you're not seeing a gig. Ooh, watch our toy, my titi. Who told you? 
Why? Because we are the Lord's sons. Them that tasted the kingdom and now they are gone. So we have that mission and it is still continuing. We want those people who we are meant for choir, who once belonged to choir, we go for them. Who once belongs to our mother's union, we go to them. That Them that we are meant for Kayo, we go for them. That we are from uh, for Kama, we go for them. Kill them to a cell group or clusters, we reach them out. But let me tell you, you cannot fight the lost while you yourself, you are lost. How can you look for the lost son when you yourself, you are the lost coin? Ukokanisani, yes. The difference between you and them is that you yourself, you are lost in the church compound. Wawa metrokea ukonje. Rakini wewe umetrokea kanisani. Umepotelea uku. And you are giving us false hope because when we see you, we think, we think things are okay, but we are still lost. So we need to fight you fast so that you can help us to fight the lost. And that is why we got our reading. Now I have like 10 minutes to sit down. We got our text, our main and the only text from the book of Nehemiah chapter 4, verse 1 to 10. It talks about the rebuilding of the wall. Let me start by saying this. First Corinthians give us chapter 3 and verse 9. We are God's building. We are now seeking the lost coin. Look at this. For we are co-workers in God's service. You are God's field, God's building. Nehemiah was building a wall. Today we are the people to build, to be built in this God's building. And you know, as our, our Mze here has said, he has said in those years, they could contribute all each and every person what they had for that, so that they can build the house of God, the one that we can enjoy today. And you are part and parcel of God's building. It is good to understand if this building lacks any of the things that are fixed here, it cannot be a complete building. So you need to know what is your take so that you can rise to the occasion and behave as per your part and your purpose in God's building. Let me teach you how it started. Give us Ephesians 2 and verse 20. Ephesians 2 and verse 20. Look at this. Very sweet. Built on the foundation. Every house begins with a foundation. The foundation of God's building is the apostles and the prophets. Those people who sacrificed for the church to begin. Those people who lost their lives. They lost their jobs. They lost their families. They lost all they need and all they're supposed to have. They lost it to lay a foundation for this kingdom. And after laying a foundation, what about when a juga, when a when a jaga nyumba when a elewa? Ukimaliza foundation, kuna mawe moja inagogwa pare kado na inafugwa uzi. It is the cornerstone, and the Bible says with Christ Himself as the chief cornerstone. I think the next time I'll be here. I'll teach you the completion of the house, but now we are getting somewhere. At least we you are the foundation of the church, we you are the cornerstone. And this is why I tell people, no matter what you do, never compare yourself with any other person. Compare yourself with the cornerstone. Hey, if you want to know whether you are straight, if you not want to know whether you are on the right path, don't compare with others. Don't compete with others. Always compare yourself with the cornerstone. That is why the cornerstone is put there, so that any other stone must be in line with the cornerstone. Give us First Corinthians. I don't know whether it is 11 and verse 1. First Corinthians 11 1. Follow my example, this is Paul, as I follow the example of Christ. You can imagine Christ is the cornerstone. Paul is in line with the cornerstone. And all he is telling his followers, the Corinthians, to follow him as he follow Christ. That one must be a straight wall. 
Are you getting this? It must be a straight wall. But the problem with us, we are here competing with others. Even in the areas of giving, never compete with anyone. In the areas of service, I don't compete with anyone, even when ministering the word of God. Kuna mahali nilieda na nikapagwa mhubiri wa tatu. Na nikawekwa huko atidio watu wakue wameboeka. You know, intentionally, nikawekwa huko. Na nikasi, <laughs> guy, Jehovah, hii mission tumepitia. Na nikasimama nikaagia, nikaabia mungu nitacheza kimimi. Hata kama wamefanya nini na nini, nitasimama nitacheza kimimi. I never compromise the gospel. Wala watu wali ntagulia, walikuwa na ubiri mambo ya pesa, wanaitisha pesa, wanaitisha. Mimi nika ubiri, sound doctrine, nika ubiri wakovu. 24 people came to Christ. Tukaeda vestere ni kabiwa, unagojea fea tukutolee wapi, na wabili wengine wato walitisha pesa. Ni kabia, I'm not poor, I'll go home. Hai, because I follow Christ. Yesu walikuwa naogea ata vibaya, wakati watu wanapika ijiri, kuna siku walisema, go and tell that folks. And he was addressing the king. Go and tell that folks, we are here today, tomorrow, and even the third day. We have David who could not fear Goriath. Saul could see the greatness and the experience of Goriath. But David was different. David could see and circumcised Pharaoh. He never compared himself. He never competed. So if we are to be in God's building and fit in God's building, always know that the foundation was laid by the apostles and the prophets, but we have Jesus as the cornerstone. Ata ukioba sana, jipime na yesu. Uone alioba mpaka jasho ikachaganyana na damu. Them that know science can understand that. When you strain your veins, zinatoa damu. Jasho ina chaganya na damu. And a drop. He strained in prayers. He rebut in prayer. If you think you are most prayerful, compare yourself with the rock, which is Jesus Christ, the cornerstone, and you find you are nothing. If I preach, I can, if I think I can preach, he preached to 5,000 people without microphone. When I, when I compare myself with him, I humble. Praise be to God. Now look at this. The Bible says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 5. You also, like living stones, you are being built into a spiritual house to a holy priesthood offering spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. We are here built in the spiritual house to a holy priesthood. You yourself, you need to realize, you need to identify yourself as one of the rocks that we need to build the house of God. You must consider yourself as one of the necessities to build and to work for God. But the Bible says in the book of 1 Kings chapter 6 and verse 7, 1 Kings chapter 6 and verse 7, now I'm concluding. In building the temple, only brocks or rocks or stones dressed at the quarry were used and no hammer, chisel, or any other iron, iron tool was had at the temple site when it was being built. If you fight yourself and you accept and you avail yourself, you identify yourself as the spiritual rock that is needed for God's building, then be ready to be dressed. You are dressed by the word of God. You are dressed by prayer. You are dressed in purity. You need to be dressed so as to take part in God's building. Na wezi ukakaa huku kama mawe mawe abayo haijielewi. Mawe razima ivumirie. Kuna mawe, hii mawe abayo tunaona hapa, ili kaweze kunyooka hivyo. Ikaweze kulainika hivyo. Kuna kazi abayo ilifajiwa. Na kuna mawe ikine haijakubali kuchongwa. Na diyo tunapoteza watu kanizani. Mana tukiogea ukweli, wegina wanaenda hawataki ukweli. Mana mawe razima yabue ukweli, iweze kuchongwa. Praise be to God. 
And he must tell you the truth. If you tell you to stop these ways and to stop these things and to stop dressing this way, stop speaking like this, then we are dressing that rock because we need it at the building to naitaji kwa mjengo. And that is why, now give me to my conclusion, Nehemiah chapter, our reading, Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 2. Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 2. The last part of verse 2. Look at this. The last part of verse 2. Can they bring the stones back to life those, uh, from those heaps of rubble burnt as they are? Let me give you a revelation maybe you've never thought about. When Nehemiah in chapter 1, Nehemiah got a burden. He got information that the wall has been broken down. In that same chapter 1, he, he went into prayer and fasting. But when we get to chapter 2, he went in the presence of the king, took some days off, Akaoba Ruhusa. And then he also asked, because he did not need new stones to build the wall. The same, same stones that were there were the stones to build the wall again. And I'm here to declare this, that as ACK St. Peter's, the morning service, we don't need any other person. You who belong here and them that were ours and they are no longer here because we are going for them. We need us the same stones because God has dressed us for a mission. God has shaped us for a mission. Kuna mahali mungu wali kuada na mungu wame kuchonga ili ukaingia katika huduma na katika kanisa hili. And so all that we need is to revive the stones back to the wall. Nani vizuri kujuliza, mimi ni mawe aboy mefundikwa. Because the Bible says, when the enemies knew they were building the wall, they had these five questions, but the last one was, will they revive the stones? My question is, will, uh, will, uh, are we going to revive the stones? Are we going to be revived ourselves? Are we going to revive our friends? Are we going to revive our cell groups? Are we going to revive our clusters, are we going to revive our department because all these stones they are here, all that we need is revival kuna watu kuna mawe, mugu wa direta huku mawe, ikiwa ya intercessor na kehikake unege ya kunekiruo anaobeyaka tuchai na ni intercessor kuna mawe mugu wa direta hapa ikiwa ya kwaya, ata hiyo kwaya igri save saijatosha watu we need a number and you are there seated at the inaga bafu tirogora bafu sasa unaibia tiles utusaidie na nini get revived and join the choir get revived join the praise team we want those stones that are hidden to be revived and to start building the God's building we need men to participate in what men are doing in the church. Don't be a stone that is covered here in church. We need you to get revived. Praise be to God. Na kwanzia leo, ujione kama hile mwamba, abeo tunatafuta. Ujione kama hile mawe, abeo tunatafuta. Mana, we need you. You were shaped. Let me give you that verse. Ephesians 2.10. It is a common verse, but not common to all. We need to see it. Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. This is what God says. That is why I'm telling you, we are God's hard work created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Imagine God shaped you for a certain cause. God shaped you for a certain way. He knew what we, you were to do here. And from today, don't allow yourself to remain under. Na huwa nabia watu. Awa shirika wanacheza gachini. Wanafuata nani. Mana cornerstone. Abaye ni yesu. Alicheza juu ya maji. Hasa unacheza chini. Can you compare and contrast? Mwenye tunafuata. Alicheza juu. Wewe uko hapa. Unacheza gachini. Habana. Kwanzia leo. Cheza juu. Praise be to God. Because we need you. But as I conclude. I want to tell you something here. 
The reason as to why some stones and all these stones and rocks were hidden. Mana maadui waliona mawe imebomoka. Wakaeda wakatafuta majani, takataka, wakazueka juu ya mawe, wakachomba, mawe ikafunikwa na uchafu. Let me tell you, there are few things I'll mention here that has made some stones never to be felt or to be heard again. One of those things that covers those stones, maodomawe marama hupe kagamahiga, makaga kurutawera wamo, one of them is sin. If you are guilt, kama ukona vabi, haujatageneza jiazako na mungu, no matter how precious you are, no matter how shaped you are in God, you can never function. Na kuna mawe miki sana hapa ineza tumika, rakini thabi imewafunika, you feel guilty. You feel nikisema mapala watasema nini? Nikifanya nini wata? Because you are guilty. That is why you cannot perform. Na lazima kila mawe, you shake off the dust. Na uwabie mungu, nisamehe thabizagu. We have God of second chance. You are here, you are gift to the church. You are here, you are gift to the body of Christ. Yet because you are in sin, yet because you are guilty of something, you cannot function. Watu wamefuni kwa nathabi. Na ni watu wabo wagetumikia mungu. Na jia moja shetani nafanyaga. Na diyo mimi nasema. Ata nikishi kwa wapi. Ata nikifanya nini. Goke na teo hurethie na apere. Dike teke na kuhua. Pana. Mana jua ni mtogo wa shetani. Arise. We unakuka mara moja unashida hapo. Ukiakuka hapa kwa geti ukigia. Shida si kuaguka. Shida ni kushida hapo. Are you getting that? Mana ukiakuka ututa amka ujipaguza watu kambia, oh sorry, sorry for that. Lakini shida hapo, utasikia watu. Umeona mtu wa meyakuka pala ya gate. Umeona mtu wa meyakuka pala ya gate. No, that is not your portion. From today, come out of your dust. Repent of your sins. Act 3 and verse 19. Act 3 and verse 19. This is what the Bible says. Act 3, 19. We are reviving the stones. Repent then. And turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. How far we ni mawe, apo ilikuwa kwa praise team. Maybe uliyeda ukapata mtoto, we ni mwanaume, uliyeda ukaoa kienyeji, anga manga ina wako hikia, manga hikia, manga ina wako hikia. And then you are still there, mag timing. Unajua nilipitia mkato. Unajua, that is why our area didn't give us a theme for this, for this week, that come. We reason together. Come. We are not perfect either. Come, we reason together. You can, we cannot afford to lose you because of what you did. God will not judge you by what you did. He'll judge you by remaining in the same situation. He'll judge you if you don't call unto his masses. So this morning you can hear to that call and tell God, I will no longer remain in my guilt. Shetani na pedaka sana wakati ya mekuganya gia. Ulifanya, ulifanya. And I always tell people, when he reminds you of your past, remind him of his future. Usikai hapo kanyagua na shetani, ulifanya, ulifanya. Praise be to God. The other thing, hapa imefunika mawe, ni kitu inaitua resonez. Kuna watu wabawa ni wavivu sana. Lazy. Watu who are gifted here. Who have assignment in the kingdom. But they are very lazy. The Bible says in the book of uh, Jeremiah 48 and verse 10. Jeremiah 48 and verse 10. I fear this word. A curse. <laughs> A curse on anyone who is lax. In doing the Lord's work. A curse. Lana ni juu ya uyo. Abaye ana uzembe. Ana uvivu kufanyia mungu kazi. Some of us we just lack commitment. We just lack commitment. And it is high time we call ourselves into order. We come back. The Bible says the Lord's son came back to his senses. Why don't we come back to our senses? Na ya mwisho. Kuna watu wabao wanafunika wengine. Kuna wengine wanarushia watu majani, wanachomerea majivu, na wanafanya iyo mawe ipote kabisa. Let me tell you, and charge you in the name of God. I charge you in the name of God. 
Please be your brother's keeper. Usiue mwenzako. Usiue mwenzako, usikwaze mwenzako. Muhego na muhegani gotire uko na muoyo. Can we mind our brothers? Can we mind our sisters? If you ask some of the poor why they no longer serve, why they no longer participate in departments, it is because somebody somewhere offended them. And you are here saying to try the model. I want to go Let me tell you, judgment will be upon you. We must take care of the people that that we lead. We must take care of the people who are in our fellowship, who are in our cluster. Hata kama tulikuwa tunatoa giri 10 na amepata moja, we are there not to compete but to complement with each other. Let us not kill our members. Wengine tumewafundika maana wakati walikuwa na shida, we never showed up. We never showed up. Na tulifundika hawa watu. Walikuwa na gojea kanisa, walikuwa na gojea cluster, walikuwa na gojea cell group, walikuwa na gojea PCC, walikuwa na gojea mchugaji. We never showed up. So kuna mawe tumefundika na mkieta huko mutasikia wakiwabia. And let me tell you, leaders, mini kifundisha leaders na wabiaga hivi. In a word you speak, it is taken seriously than any other word from any other member. As a leader, any word you speak, unezaribu praise team. Any word you speak, unezaribu kama. Any word you speak, ogiuga adhulieto ni ako uherelio. And you are a leader. And you say ni ako uherelio. Mewe karogo maha na davivi. Iye huu hagerelio ikakua. Ike herera dania. My dao you speak. Because we are not here to cover stones. We are here to revive the stones. And we need people to come and serve with us. You are self alone you cannot make it myself in this service i could not have done it i needed the praise team i needed the leader of the service i needed the intercessor i needed the leader of the sermon i le- i needed all of you to be here so we all need each other can we help each other to arise to saidia kila moja atoke mavubini tuanze kungaa tena kwa Mungu we want to arise again to the occasion we want to be felt to be seen to be heard we want to serve God in unity every stone is important every stone is needed every stone is precious we need all of you and you need us to make a God's beauty Rise up on your feet. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. We glorify your mighty name because you are great. You are awesome. Thank you because of teaching us that we belong to one building, the building of God. Thank you because of reminding us that the foundation was laid. Years ago, the foundation of the prophets and the apostles, they laid. And Jesus, you came after them. As the cornerstone. And all of us. We are the living stones. That are we are going in line with the cornerstone. So that we can be efficient. So that we can be effective. God almighty. Thank you because of your children this morning. You brought them in your house. Wegi wetu bwana umetuleta kama mawe. Enye imechongwa kakazi marum. Tumechongwa kwa kazi kama arum katika nyumba yako. Rakini uchafu imetufunika. Uchafu imetufunika. Uvivu. Uzembe imetufunika. Jehova. Wengi wetu tulikwaswa na wengine. Maneno imetufunika. Masengenyo ilitufunika. Giza ilitufunika. Jehova. This is the day that you revive the stones. That they may become back to life. And serve your house. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Revive these stones in the name of Jesus. Revive these stones in the name of Jesus. Weki walikuwa katika huduma ya kuhudumia mungu. Rakini kuna mabo ili wakwaza. Weki walirushia kazi ya mungu mikono. Weki walikosa ratha ya ibada. Weki walikosa ratha ata ya kushiriki katika fellowship zetu. Weki walikosa ata ratha ya kushima simama na kazi ya mungu. Akiona toke ruta besha matiruta ra. 
Todo he modo wa maikiri e kiugo Akemera ne meona nagia Kwe modo wa maikiri e kiugo Akemera mona gatare o matuwa ili e kanida Kehiga keugege kune kuo Akema ke inagera gai mono Makero wa mainaga negeza meona nie Jehova gai tora kera modo nya wa omothe Can you open your mouth and tell God Ake kowe kehiga da adhikire Ake kowe kehiga da atomira getiga wera Jehova gai dekera Ake kowe kehiga da uberie na mauti Can you open your mouth and tell God Help me to mind my words Help me to mind what I say In the name of Jesus Pia uji obena uabie mungu Kama kuna dhabi menifunika Ika kosa nifuanye kazi yako Revive me Revive me in the name of Jesus We need praise team members We need choir members We need kama members We need mothers members We need leaders We need intercessors We need financiers We need those people who are compassionate We need all of you Every stone is important Every stone is important Wewe ni wamana Kama ujawa ya biwa Nimekuja ni kuabie Wewe ni wamana We need you We need you In the mighty name of Jesus Don't allow any guilt To finish you Don't allow any guilt To wipe out your talent Don't allow Every hindrance To stop you from serving God You are here in our meetings this morning And you are saying Oh God Back to your work Back to your work I commit myself Siju ilikuwa katika kazi gani Siju ilikuwa katika kudi gani Siju ilikuwa katika mta gani Siju ilikuwa nafanyia mugu nini Ile inaonekana ama ile ayonekani Lakini kuna kitu ilikukwasa Kuna kitu ilikufunika Iwe ni dhambi Iwe ni uvivu Iwe ni watu waliongea Iwe ni wewe kazi yako iliharibika I don't know Lakini kuna kitu ilikuwa nafanyia mungu Siku hizi umeshidwa kufanya Haijarishi nini rifunika hiyo mawe Tunataka kufunua leo In the next five minutes I want to release a prayer That every stone Will be revived in the name of Jesus We are not leaving any stone At the ground We are not leaving any stone forgotten We are reviving every stone for God Umekua ukitamani kumtumikia mungu Katika jia hii ama jia ikine Uko naopi katika moyo wako Wakushu Shikiria kazi ya mungu Ulikuwa katika uduma ukarudi nyuma Whatever is your case I'm calling you here for prayer In the name of Jesus I'm calling you here for prayer Right now in the name of Jesus You want any prayer of the kite I'm here at the altar Waiting for you in the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Them that want this revival You are telling God We want to be revived of you We want to be revived Haijarishi kama ni mtu wali kunenea vibaya Uka kwa sika Haijarishi kama ni dhambi Kuna kitu ulifanya Na unaona kama mugu wawezi kusamehe Wekine ni kazi zao zirudi chini Walikuwa wanashikiria kazi ya mugu financiare Wekine ni maneno wali singiziwa Wakabu wamefanya na waku wamefanya Wakasikia kurudi nyuma Mwigine alikuwa bia hauna hanja Pekine uliabua we can do without you I'm here to revive you with the help of the Holy Spirit Nataka ni kufanyie ombi Abaro tafufuwa maisha yako Ata kama huja okoka Just come forth I want to pray with you Kuna mtu alishikwa na magonjwa Akakosa kutumikia mungu Kama vile alikuwa na mtumikia Wengine wako na uzito dani yao Hemodo wako hengire Omuona goka iwa doge tuka tehau Gayaroko hegoro ya akore kanera Mungu wakupatie forgive Spereta Because yourself you are forgiven In the name of Jesus Ni uzito gani uko kwa moyo wako Ulikuzuia kutumikia mungu Akine guoya Onare maigua na guoya Oka goho ereleu Guoya is not your portion Fear is not your portion In the name of Jesus Thank you Holy Spirit of God 
Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. God is going to fill you with boldness. He's going to fill you with courage. In the name of Jesus. Wale wanaogopanga kusimama mbele ya watu. Wale wanaogopanga kuonekana. Leo Mungu anafufua, anaondoa kila uoga katika jina la Yesu. Anaondoa kila makasiriko, anaondoa kila vikwazo, kila maneno ilinenwa tunaikanusha leo. Walisema ujabari kiwa walisema una maringo walisema uko na kiburi walisema hauwezi walisema ulifanya hey hey whatever they say da, we are nullifying it now in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit of God we thank you Holy Spirit of God we thank you Nehemiah did not buy new stones he used the forest oh god oh god Holy Spirit of God thank you for this Roho wa Gaya rajira Nehemiah da hodel ya mahiga mero ahodel ya mahiga mare amagwete we gokona ni ogwete we gokona ni ogwete gota komakania kiria ya kogoithirie Gaya rahodera mahiga mare amagwete darathi gwetha mahiga mero na dokahenio ne moto gotira moto ngeiganira space yaku hau niwe wathimetwo hau niwe wathimetwo ona mahiga mama aketa kanitho yo oigari athime to hario igari haria kona ine reti kekira ha pere igari haria igoro reti kekira mudiki o iga haria ne dimeto we ogwete okerare they know how to tell Jesus arise in the name of Jesus arise in the name of Jesus shake off the dust shake off the dust in the name of Jesus Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Thank you Kai ne koigwa kerero kia koroishi. Thank you Kai ne koigwa kerero kia koroishi. Wegu wetu tulikwaza na maneno ya wanadamu. Kuna wale walinena maneno ya katuzika. Kuna wale walinena maneno ya katufunika. Jehova kuna dhabi tulitenda ikatufunika. Jehova kuna uoga iliingia ikatufunika. Jehova kuna uzembe ili tuvika Jehova tukafunikwa lakini leo leo katika hii neema ya revival katika hii neema ya ufufuo we are calling back to life every stone in the name of Jesus hii ndio mawe Mungu amekuwa kitafuta anaeleza ngo because of today's service that our God is reviving these stones once again in the name of Jesus listen to this wale ambao walifanya mambo na ikawatoa katika neema ya Mungu na katika huduma ya Mungu I want to declare may the refreshing times come upon you just because of being here you have a repentant heart goka tu kwa kuhane kwa nani ya gai ni uherete gayaro kwehereria gishonoko keu gayaro kwehereria thonicio gayaro kwehereria mweshuko aroko ihoria na gekeno ya kurekerwa mehia may god refresh you now no more guilt in the name of jesus no more guilt usikubali shetani akunongoneze tena vile ulifanya madhabi atakanya uliteda gani hakuna dhambi damu ya Yesu haiwezi kuosha umeoshwa leo na unaoshwa leo katika jina la Yesu wewe ambaye ni wa uoga the spirit of god gave us it is not a spirit of fear but a spirit of boldness in the name of jesus wale ambao wamezebea Mungu ako na uwezo wa kuwa revive na kuwafanya committed na kuwafanya watu ambao ni active in the name of Jesus laana ikawaodoke ambao inafanywa wale ambao wanavifia kufanya kazi ya Mungu thank you holy spirit of god before i pray for these people you are here here in front or there at the back and you are saying jesus I want to renew my relationship with you. I want to renew my relationship with you. Nimewaambia shida si kuanguka, shida ni kubaki kama umeanguka. A call is here from God. He needs you back in the kingdom. He need you back in the flock. Ni uretwa roli ni rwa gaireke. Ni uretwa kiugo ineke a gaireke. Ne wahonoketi ogechoka na dhuda. Kana dore wahonoka. Na ne waigwa ni edeke higa ya kanitha wa andoyo. No ne hubeketwa ne mehia. Ne hubeketwa 
ketwa na maodo dekire ne hubeketwa na mehia ma adamu ne hubeketwa na mehia ma thakame ya guito umbothe na utigithokanio no sharo rege na thakame ya kristo age korowe goko na doho no kete you would like to give your life to jesus or you are you were born again but you but written for one reason or the other we are not perfect we are not perfect idwo the nekogeria togeragia na kero homo the ruaga to come to the wito are you here you would like to give your life to jesus before i pray for the revival you are there you would like to give your life to jesus just show me by raising your heart we go ko bere kana we ko thutha Thank you, Nemo Roy the Vito Show at Woko. Thank you, Nemo Roy the Vito Hapakuna to Avidia Bawa Ketaka Kuokoka. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Kunam to Megine Okonuma Ketaka Kuokoka Sikuyaleo. You are saying, I am a stone that God is looking for. I'm that stone that God is looking for. How Avidia Bawa Menuam Kono, our lady, the Susan Priest, come and lead them. Uh, uh, ile obila toba katika jina la Yesu kwa our, our sister our sister there and then our brother here in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus thank you holy spirit of god somebody somebody wale wamesimama hapa na wamepiga magoti fuka tu macho yako na uwabie mungu wengine tunaweza kaa chini huko nyuma huko nyuma tunaweza kaa chini kama ukuji hapa bere unaweza kaa chini but if you are intercessor you can stand and continue interceding kama umeguzwa na vile mungu amefanya leo you can stand and continue interceding in the name of Jesus wewe ba uko hapa fukua tu mdomo wako kama macho imefungwa na uwabie Mungu unajua mahali unanitaka unanyua chua mahali uliniweka kaineo wewe higade higa mudeboreko kaineo wewe wani shogete chikareko kai wacha sohete adute wera mona nejiguaga decha mono nejiguaga itare hali achagereire jova gai jokia wera ine waku jova demeraga shera I need myself back in the service. I need myself back in the building. Because we are spiritual rocks. We are spiritual stones. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Gai Nyorioreka. Thank you, Gai Nyorioreka. Mother Dago Shokaria Gadon and Dago Tea. Can we raise up our hearts? What about to go up? When Yezimuguna Kushukuru Kasababia Sikuya Leo. Ni asanti maana umetutoa kwa viketi zetu tumekalia hizo viketi kwa muda mrefu lakini leo umetutoa pale kama Nehemaya wakati alifufua mawe ambayo ilikuwa katika mwanguko mawe ambayo ilikuwa imedharauliwa na maadui wakiuliza kama kuna wezekano ile mawe ikafufuliwe tena lakini Jehova umenituma kama mtumishi wako chini ya baraka ya wachungaji wa kanisa hili Jehova na uongozi wa kanisa hili nikapatiwa nafasi kuhubiri hili neno siku ya leo na Jehova umeogea na watu wako mimi tu ni kunena ni menena lakini roho wako ameshawishi nafsi zao Every one of us have been convicted by your Holy Spirit and we have heeded to your call that you need us back to your building. You need us back to your service. You need us back to serve you, dear Lord. Look at these men and women who are guilty of this or the other. Look at these women who were buried because of some words, who were buried because of something they saw. Look at these women and men, dear Lord, as they kneel before you, as they stand before you, as they raise hearts unto you. Hearken to the your plea. Hear the your cry. Hearken to the your prayer, dear Lord. Hear what it is that they have in their hearts. We wanna go to the Mujia Takiona. Vuvuria Goroishiro Shinero Hamode. Kerea Mary de Iria Kayo Mekere. Akemada Nivera Wawado Kire. Nanemaru Taga Bera Bia Shiavera Wakai. Rio Kamavera Maoreke. They know our etuari. Jesu, akema nyi tiruwa ne merimo, makera bone gogo tu katera, hani ya merimo ya o jehova zaino wale tuwale ya jesu akema kinye ilioshi ugo joru, jehova kai makerumo mageshabio make igele nwa igenyo oro wa oke memere kio, kaida oya ete kena gozeli ya iturehu, ituri ya oru ituri ya juko ituri ya romena, ituri Ituri ya gesha bio, wega wakuoro makinyelera, oro maheo mereru, 
them that were covered by fear I speak boldness in the name of Jesus I speak courage in the name of Jesus I speak confidence in the name of Jesus na wale bwana walijipata katika jia panda wakajipata hawako kulia hawako kushoto agemanyi tirone tamashi ya mwere agemanyi tirone dhuti ya motore leoyo agemanyi tirone meshiri ya moru make hutatera wera waku nore ukaini omonete kweri la kwao ne onete kuhera kwao ne onete kwesho kera kwao idwe tokerea toma tuwele shira idwe tokerea toma ikeri ya moko jehova ete kera nwa make shoke na ya vera wa kugai toma ete kera tono no wame ete kere ete toma amo kera tono no wame amo kere ete toma temere chera tono wame ete ete netu wana kagotu eka higo vene wana etu wane a jeso netu wana kagotu eka tu wane nishira vene wana etu wane a jeso netu wana kagotu toka niya vene wana etu wane a jeso and we pray that we shall from today embrace each other we shall from today encourage each other we shall from today endure with each other from today we shall bear each other's burden i a guy monie ohara matigeje kefaru wa ya kumathie na mbere aria matare maigira maigwa moito guy monie kore orenda magutungate monie show them where you need them show them where you need the your services in the name of God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit Amen See what Amen. the Lord has done Amen See what